said Rock was dead? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Billboard chart-topping rock songs of the 2010s. For this list, we're focusing on the definitive rock songs of the decade that became Billboard number ones, whether it was the Hot 100, Rock, or Alternative Charts. Number 10. Come a Little Closer, Cage the Elephant. Inspired by a night on the band's South American tour, a Brazilian sunrise, and the unknown mysteries that lay before him, lead singer Matt Schultz wrote a meditative and slightly melancholic composition to capture his experiences. Come a little closer than you see. Come on, come on, come on. Unbeknownst to the singer, Come a Little Closer would soon become one of the surprise hits of 2013, with its cryptic lyrical content and a musical bed suitable for the band's psychedelic appeal. At this very moment, some of you Mojoholics may be learning of Cage the Elephant for the first time, and well, take the title as an invitation to have your mind blown. Number 9. Madness. Muse. I, I can't get these memories out of my mind. The English band Muse captured this debilitating form of madness with an appropriately entitled tune that topped the alternative charts for a solid 19 weeks, large in part to the lead singer Matthew Bellamy's hypnotic vocals. <laughs> An experimental track for the rock band, the song explodes into an emotional climax with stunning guitar effects and a beat that just won't quit. And now I have finally seen the end. With a cerebral number one, the world received yet another powerhouse release from one of the most esteemed rock bands of the last 20 years, and certainly one of the best live acts of all time. Number 8. Pumped Up Kicks. Foster the People. When former jingle writer Mark Foster wrote this story of a teenage homicidal maniac, it would be an understatement to say the indie music scene went crazy. After Pumped Up Kicks connected with listeners seeking a new sound, it became a rare alternative single to reach number one on the Billboard charts. With a catchy as hell chorus, and a beat that even mainstream music listeners could latch onto, the song also hit number three on the Billboard Hot 100. Number 7. Radioactive. Imagine Dragons. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust. Okay, let's be honest. The opening 30 seconds of Radioactive may not immediately grab your attention with all the oohs and ahs, but as soon as the beat drops, you'll be right on board and singing along. I'm waking up. Perhaps that's why this Imagine Dragons mega hit stayed on the Billboard Hot 100 for 87 long weeks. With a universal theme of personal reawakening and a music video featuring Lou Diamond Phillips and a pre true detective Alexandra D'Addario, Radioactive slowly became one of the most surprising hits of recent years and led to a mythical collaboration with Kendrick Lamar. Everything in life subject to change, change whip, change grind, change clothes, change opinions right before I change my mind. Number 6. Rope. Foo Fighters. Okay. 
everybody loves a little nostalgia, and this throwback hit captured a 90s vibe across the board. From the VHS shock music video to the progressive style chords and the catchy chorus, Rope was built to become a mainstream hit, and it topped the Billboard rock charts for 20 weeks. In fact, Foo Fighters debuted at number one, and when the momentum finally slipped, they immediately took over the top spot again with another classic entitled Walk. Dave Grohl's Foo Fighters have been releasing some of the greatest rock songs of recent times, and they are showing no sign of slowing down. <laughs> Number 5. Pompeii, Bastille. I was If you're familiar with Roman history, then you'll most likely be familiar with the inspiration behind this next number one hit. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? And if you close your eyes... An instant indie pop smash, Pompeii, became Bastille's introduction to American audiences as the song hit number one on multiple US charts, and number five on the Billboard Hot 100. The song takes on for a metaphorical story of modern love as the lyrics convey someone trying to see the light and hoping not to be crushed by the figurative ash of seismic passion. My lover's got humor. She's the giggle at a funeral. Everybody's disapproval. Number four, take me to church. Hozier. If the heavens ever did speak, she's the last true mouthpiece. Now here's a case of a struggling singer-songwriter propelled to fame due to the power of social media. With themes of sexuality and religion, Take Me to Church utterly transformed the life of Andrew Hozier Byrne. Take me to church, I was like a dog at the shrine of your as a controversial song peaked at number 2 on the Hot 100 and reached number 1 on the rock charts. It's a fine looking high horse, what you got in the stable? While the tune was written as a breakup song, the music video tells a much different story, and the black and white production immediately became a viral sensation upon release. Amen. Amen. Representative of a new progressive world, Take Me to Church also earned Hozier a Grammy nomination for Song of the Year. Number 3, 1901, Phoenix. A certified platinum song in the United States, this musical take on a beloved city introduced mainstream listeners to the French band from Versailles. Although the song was released toward the tail end of the 2000s, the song hit the top of the alt-rock chart in February 2010, kicking off the new decade in style. Although you might have heard 1901 on numerous commercials, it only managed to reach 84 on the Hot 100. But it's without a doubt one of our favorite indie jams of the 21st century. Number 2. Tighten Up, The Black Keys Years, a blues rock tandem from Akron, Ohio, coiled away as one of the most respected underground bands around. And with this track about wild love, the Black Keys not only scored their first Hot 100 hit, but took home a Grammy for Best Rock Performance. Recorded at the legendary Muscle Shoals studio, 
Tighten Up was born out of some downtime as Patrick Carney, Dan Auerbach, and producer Danger Mouse hit the studio to create a garage rock jam for the ages. And given the playful nature of the music video, the entire process seemed to be one hell of a time. Of course, rock fans agreed, as Tighten Up topped the charts and transitioned the Black Keys to mainstream stars. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ain't it fun? Number one, do I want to know? Arctic Monkeys. Have you got color in your cheeks? For this number one single recorded in Joshua Tree, California, Arctic Monkeys explored themes of unrequited love and the undeniable urge to drunk dial. Crawling back to you. Combined with the trippy music video, Alex Turner's vocals provide for a psychedelic experience, thus capturing what it feels like to be completely in love or just plain freaked out that you might get dumped. I don't know if you feel the same as I do. Do I Wanna Know has become a popular cover song and also became a modern anthem for young rock fans with its marching rhythm and meditative lyrics. So, do you agree with our selections? What is your favorite Billboard chart-topping rock song of the 2010s? For more mind-blowing top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.